Welcome to Prayer Anywhere. We would like to thank the Center for Spiritual Formation for the litany we are using today. God is our refuge and strength, a helper close at hand in time of trouble. Therefore, we shall not fear when the earth gives away, when its mountains tumble in the depths of the sea. And its waters rage and foam, and the mountains are shaken by its waves. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come now and behold the works of the Lord. What astounding things God has done in the world. Who puts an end to wars all over the earth, breaking the bow, snapping the spear, and burning the shields with fire. Be still, then in and know that I am God, supreme among all nations, supreme uh, on the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. of heaven's armies is here among us. The God of Israel is our fortress. Lord, you have been good to your servant according to your word. 
Teach me discernment and knowledge, for I trust in your commands. When I call, answer me, O God, defender of my cause. In my distress, you set me free. Have mercy and hear me. Children of mortals, how long will your hearts be closed? Why long for what is vain and chase after vain illusions? Know that the Lord does wonders for the faithful. The Lord hears when I call. Tremble then, and so not sin. Commune with your own hearts in your beds and be silent. Make justice your sacrifice and put your trust in the Lord. There are many who say, oh, that we might see better times. Let the light of your face shine upon us, O Lord. You have put into my heart more joy than they have from abundant grain and new wine. I will lie down in peace and fall asleep at once. For only you, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is upon the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is a powerful voice. The voice of the Lord is a voice of splendor. My heart is ready. O oh God, my heart is ready. I will confess you among the peoples, O oh God. I will sing your praises among the nations. Saul was 30, 30, 30 years old when he became king, and he reigned for 42 years. Saul selected 3,000 special troops from the army of Israel and sent, sent the rest of the men home. He took 2,000 of the chosen men with him to Mishmash and the hill country of Bethel. The other 1,000 went with Saul's son, Jonathan, to Gilbath, the land of Benjamin. Soon after this, Jonathan attacked and defeated the garrison of, of Philistines at Geba. The news spread quickly among the Philistines. So Saul blew the ram's horn throughout the land, saying, Hebrews, hear this, rise up in revolt. All Israel heard the news that Saul had destroyed the Philistine garrison at Geba, and the Philistines had now hated the Israelites more than ever. So the entire Israelite army summon, summoned to join Saul at Gilgal. The Philistines mustered a mighty army of 3,000, chariots 6,000, charioteers, and as many warriors as, as the grains of sand on the seashore. They camped at Mishmash east of Beth Am, and the is men of Israel saw what a tight spot they were in. And because they were hard pressed by the enemy, they tried to hide in caves, thickets, rocks, holes, and cisterns. Some of them crossed the Jordan River and escaped into the land of God and Gilead. Meanwhile, Saul stayed at Gilgal, and his men were trembling with fear. <laughs> Saul waited there seven days for Samuel, as Samuel had instructed him earlier, but Samuel still didn't come. Saul realized that his troops were rapidly slipping away, so he demanded, bring me the burnt offerings and the peace offerings. And Saul sacrificed the burnt offerings himself. Just as Saul was finishing with the burnt offerings, Samuel arrived. As Saul went out and met and welcomed him, but Samuel said, What is this you have done? Saul replied, I saw my men scattering from me. And you didn't arrive when you said you would. And the Philistines are at Mishmash and ready for battle. 
So I said, the Philistines are ready to march against us at Gilgal, and I haven't even asked for the Lord's help. So I felt compelled to offer the burnt offering myself before you came. How foolish, Samuel exclaimed. You have not kept the command the Lord your God gave you. Had you kept it, the Lord would have established your kingdom over Israel forever. But now your kingdom must end, for the Lord has sought out a man after his own heart. The Lord has already appointed him to, the be, to be the leader of his people, because you have not kept the Lord's command. Saul then left Gil Gilgal and went on his way, but the rest of the troops went with Saul to meet the army. They went up from Gilgal to Geba in the land of Benjamin. When Saul counted the men who were still with him, he found only 600 were left. Saul and Jonathan and the troops with them were staying at Geba in the land of Benjamin. The Philistines set up their camp at Mishmash. Three raiding parties soon left the camp of the Philistines. One went north towards Oprah in the land of Shual. Another went west to Beth Haran, and a third moved towards the border above the valley of Zeboim near the wilderness. There was no blacksmith in the, the, or the land of Israel in those days. The Philistines wouldn't allow them for fear they would make swords and spears for the Hebrews. So whenever the Israelites needed to sharpen their plowshares, picks, axes, or sickles, they had to take them to a Philistine blacksmith. The charges were as follows. A quarter of an ounce of silver for sharp sharpening a plowshare or a pick, and an eighth of an ounce for sharpening an axe or making the point of an ox goad. I will speak to you in parables. And expound things hidden since the foundation of the world. Later that same day, Jesus left the house and sat beside the lake. A large crowd soon gathered around him, so he got into his boat then sat there and taught as the people stood on the shore. He told many stories in the form of parables, such as this one. Listen, a farmer went out to plant some seeds. As he scattered them across his field, some seeds fell on a footpath and the birds came and ate them. Other seeds fell on shallow soil with underlying rock. The seeds sprouted quickly because the soil was shallow, but the plants soon wilted under the hot sun. And since they didn't have deep roots, <clears throat> they died. Other seeds fell among thorns that grew up and choked out the tender plants. Still other seeds fell on fertile soil and they produced a crop that was 30, 60, even a hundred times as much as they had planted. Anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. His disciples came and asked, and asked him, why do you use parables when you talk to people? He replied, you are permitted to understand the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but others are not. To those who listen to my teachings, more understanding will be given, and they will have an abundance of knowledge. But for those who are not listening, even what little understanding they have will be taken away from them. That is why I use parables. For they look, but they don't really see. They hear, but they don't really listen or understand. 
This fulfills the prophecy of Isaiah that says, When you hear what I say, you will not understand. When you see what I do, you will not comprehend. Or the hearts of these people are hardened, and their ears cannot hear, and they have closed their eyes. So their ears cannot see, and their eyes cannot see, and their ears cannot hear. Their hearts cannot understand. And they cannot turn to me and let me heal them. But blessed are your eyes because they see and your ears because they hear. I tell you the truth. Many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see, but they didn't see it. And they long to hear what you heard, but they didn't hear it. Let's pray together. Hear him, ye deaf, his praise, ye dumb, your loosened tongues employ. Ye blind, behold your Savior come, and leapt, ye lamb, for joy. In Christ your head you shall then know, shall fear feel your sins forgiven, anticipate your heaven below, and own that love is heaven. Cherish your name, your kingdom come, your will will be done on earth as in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and and give us and forgive us our sin <clears throat> sins as we forgive those who sin against us, and lead us in not in not into evil, but evil but deliver us from evil for it's our power is is our kingdom and the power and glory forever the closing prayer christ i see the crown of thorns in every eye thy bleeding wounded naked body in every soul thy death in every memory thy wounded body is embalmed in every affliction. Thy pierced feet are bathed in everyone's tears, and it is my privilege to enter with thee into every soul. Thank you for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you again next time.